Hey guys, welcome to Slapping Glass in our top 10 sets of July 2020. But what good would a top 10 list be without an honorable mention? So let's start with Bros Bamberg and their sprint clear out set. Such great false motion to occupy the defense and allow your best playmaker or ball handler to get to their strong hand and play downhill. At number 10 on our list in July 2020, the Chemnitz Niners and their shallow cut action. Chemnitz was one of our favorite teams to study in July 2020. We dedicated a full breakdown video that you can find in the comments below. This shallow cut action is especially hard to guard as a shooter is cutting through the middle of the key at the same time a high screen and roll is taking place, putting the defender in quite a bind. At number 9, the legendary coach Stu Morrill and his elbow dribble handoff from his shuffle cut series. Coach Morrill was well known for being one of the best tacticians in the college game for decades. The brush cut into the dribble handoff is what makes this set so creative. We head back to Europe for number 8 on our list, Andorra and their dribble pitch stagger series. We put out a full video on this entire series, but these two clips here show all the various options that the guards have after the initial stagger. Those fans of Virginia's blocker mover style offense will like this set. And you can see the two blockers screening and rescreening for the two guards after the initial stagger screen. Sticking on the theme of stagger screens, Leet Cabellus has a great stagger screen action with a rip and replace to finish the set. Notice the shuffle screen into the catch and the rip baseline and replaced by the shooter back behind the action. Maybe should have been higher on the list now that I look at it again. But we move on to number six and back to Chemnitz and their gut dribble handoff invert pick and roll. A great set to have in your back pocket for a late game basket. Moving into the top five now and potentially one of the best buzzer beating shots of the year. Division three Pomona Pitzer over Emory in the second round of the NCAA tournament. This set has been used much in Europe as well as with Brad Stevens and the NBA. We'll get top that, you say? But how about some nice horns clear out action from Rasta Vecta in Germany? One of the more creative sets that we've seen in its ability to create space on the floor for the big to pop and play advantage basketball is impressive to watch. really enjoyed studying Anwell this July and specifically some of the tactics that Coach Milicic uses for his matchup zone. To see that full breakdown video, you can find the link in the comments below. But here's a gem of an offensive set as well. Shuffle action into a middle pick and roll with a backside pin and slip by the screener. Moving on to our top two, we head back to Spain and Valencia and their horns flex Spain action. There's a lot to see and break down in this set, but their flex screening into the eventual Spain action and how Valencia plays out of the different options is great to watch. One skill or decision that we see take place here in this set is when the Spain screener should pop and when they should actually set the back screen. If the big is outside of them, like he is in this spot here, then he should just simply pop into the space and create the advantage to play through. And the number one play of July, of course, is a tie between the Spurs and Joventut and their post rip series. Simple action, but so hard to guard as we'll see the Spurs run it here in Orlando first getting a lob dunk from the rip screen, and then here, Bellinelli getting a wide open jump shot from the exact same set. Joe Vintut 
runs similar action with the rip screen, except this is a grenade dribble handoff or a handoff from a big coming off of the block. Both of these actions are so difficult to guard with the back screen and the pressure that it puts on the rim and having guards that can come off that grenade dribble handoff, stop on a dime, rise up and make a jumper is for sure a luxury. Thanks everybody who's followed along on Twitter and YouTube this month. We hope to see you again soon.